So I've got a happy news and a sad news. The happy news is that Mistral has launched a new model, a very highly capable model that literally makes it the second best model in the world if you keep GPT for the first. The sad news is that it is not open source. Either way, we, let's learn about this model and also a couple of other announcements that Mistral has made, making it really a very interesting company in the LLM world. To start with, the model is called simply Large. I don't know what is OW or maybe the large, um, but it sounds like a menu item on a French restaurant. But anyways, it, it, it's cute. Uh, so OW large or Mistral Lodge is a new model that Mistral is calling its flagship model. So this is their best model ever. Why is this a best model? So on MMLU, which is the benchmark that we have time and time again seen with different manufacturers or different model providers, MMLU Mistral scores 81.2%, the Mistral large model, which is way above Claude 2, Gemini Pro, GPT 3.5, Llama to 70 billion parameter model, and GPT 4. I guess at this point, people shouldn't compare Llama to 70 billion parameter model. And also at this point, I'm not a big fan of MMLU. I respect MMLU, but I'm not going to take the model as it is just because it has good, really good on MMLU. Either way, this seems like a good model especially when it comes from a company that you trust a lot. Mr. Large is going to be available on their own API developer platform that they call it La Platforme. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. If you are a French, tell me if this is how I'm supposed to pronounce it. And also, I don't know how, at Samo Satya Nadella is there everywhere literally you speak about AI. I mean, like Microsoft, you talk about open source model, you talk about closed source model, you talk about cloud computing. Anything you talk about, Microsoft is there. And once again, Microsoft has made its presence here. This is a guest appearance for Microsoft that Mr. Large is going to be available only on two different places on the entire planet at this point, at least. One is Mistral's own platform, La Platform Me. The second one, it is going to be available in Azure AI, which they are calling at this point our first distribution partner. That means I expect and I hope that there are more such partnerships under work or probably they want more people to partner up with them. So there are three different ways you can access Mr. Large. First one, La Platform A. Second one, Azure AI. And third one, they also provide you on-prem. So if you want to deploy this on your own premise, you can contact the Mistral team and they'll help you do self deployment, but they've not mentioned the cost or terms or whatever it is, but they can do it for you and they can share the success stories with you. So these are the three different ways you can access the model. So what's good about this model? So the model simply is good in a lot of different things. One, it, it is natively fluent in English, French, Spanish, German and Italian. So there are like five languages this model is really good at. And again, you can see that this being a European company, this being a company that hosts it with this model within Europe, seems like they're in the right direction to make sure that the model is fluent in European languages along with English, because that gives them a really good edge than any of the US models. And this is exactly what ideally every country should do. So it has got a 32,000 tokens context window and it, according to them, precise and following instruction. And it has got like, a, it also lets developers design their own moderation policies. Uh, uh, like, okay, don't answer about this, don't answer about this because the ability of a model to follow instructions uh, enable the developers to also set the rules and boundaries and guardrails. The most important thing I would say is that it is natively capable of function calling. That means you don't have to fine tune the model. You don't have to add another layer on top of the model. You can literally out of box use Mr. Large and it would support function calling. How efficiently it would support function calling. That is something that only during testing you will get to know. But at this point, they say that it helps you in constrained output. Like you want JSON output or you can do function calling. In terms of the benchmarks, the model is like they said, it is good on MMLU. It is just right next to uh, GPT-4. On Hellaswag, uh, the model is uh, again, once again, right next to GPT-4. Then you see a couple of other benchmarks where the model is actually much better than a lot of other models. In fact, on ArcC, I think this is a five shot. Mistral Large is much better than GPT-4 in itself. Like, okay, in this case, we didn't get the GPT-4 score but um, there are other benchmarks you can see the model is doing good. 
and the multilingual capabilities once again the model is good uh, in fact much better than mixtral and if you see math and code the model is supposedly good which i believe is at this point more due to the data that has gone into the fine tuning i'm not going to associate this uh, more with the model capability itself but probably i guess like this is the kind of data set that they have decided to fine tune the model with or add to the pre training of the model so that could be the secret source of this but it's still good a uh, very surprising to me uh, for, for, for me at least like on human evil the model is way below gpt 3.5 which is very surprising for me when they have uh, when they have focused more on python mbbp is i think most basic python programming something like that why human evil the model is very bad a uh, very surprising in fact like it is worse than gpt 4 uh, which is obvious gpt 3.5 gemini pro 1.0 which i completely forgot that it is better than gpt 4 which i don't think a lot of people told but also you know you don't know what google is doing behind the scene but mr large is just 45.1% which is like kind of surprising for me given the fact that they could have added a lot of synthetic data for programming uh, which could have made a huge difference but they made a huge difference in python so maybe this is about the other languages that they didn't have on math this is really good 91.2 on gsm 8k but again it's not the only model that they've released but if you want to know my opinion about this particular model i think this is uh, this is what we all expected like we we thought mistral as a company would come mistral as a company would release open source models but somehow down the line we got to know that they are going to hold the large models for themselves and release the open uh, the smaller versions of the model for everybody to use which seems making sense because you know you want large model only when you have that kind of use case maybe you are a very big company like let's say kpmg or um, you have got like pwc or you have got like i don't know some um, uh, some other company notion these companies want to use models but they don't build their own models and they want the most capable models and sometimes they don't want to use only open ai so they want a very good decent alternative which mistral seems to be saying that hey you want the best dish on the market go to them go to open ai but you know you cannot always rely on the best edition in the market because there is a cost aspect there is a monopoly aspect if they go down your entire system is going to go down so you always need somebody who is the second best and they are offering the second best model in the world and uh, it's a very good business proposition like you have you have seen this time and time again working in every single business uh, every single uh, business opportunity and i think this will work out very well for mr as a company it's kind of a shame that nobody else is doing this you build a really good foundation model and make it just right next to open ai and you could probably make a lot of money and that's exactly what they're doing and they also managed to create another model now we completed the talk about mr large they have launched another model which is called mr small and this small according to them is a new optimized model which outperforms mixtral so so far mixtral is the best open source model or at least one of the best like if you say top 1 2 3 this is one of the best found foundation or not so much fine tuned model and this model mistral small beats uh, mistral 8 x 7 billion when they said mistral small when i was reading this blog post like i kind of thought maybe this is an open source model but somehow they chose not to open source this model as well this model will also be only available through their own platform so uh, they've got um, the rag enablement capability the function calling capability this is going to be available through their endpoint the la platform a so you've got uh, the open mistral 7 billion open mistral 8x 7b these are open source models and then they've got the optimized model mistral small 2402 mistral large 2402 and the previous mistral medium which they are not updating at this point which is once again a very strange choice in which they are making like they have got a smaller model they have got a large model and they are keeping the medium model as it is without updating and according to them this is good with json formatting and function calling which means the guided text generation could be good and they saying that this is an essential feature for developers to trust and rely on a tech stack in which they can build ai based application so this is all about mistral models the large the small the benchmarks the function calling and enforcing I want to know what you think about mistral's direction like uh, very surprisingly they didn't open source mistral small um 
it almost feels like at this point maybe the mixtel model is their cap and anything above that maybe they are not going to open source at any point but if you want to try out this model they have got a new chat platform this almost feels like the hugging face chat they have like custom hosted it so you can go here and then select the model the large next and small the next model is what mistral was teasing and everybody was interested in the model people are speculating this could be the next model but this is not the next model so we have got small we got next we have got large maybe next is a different version of medium so medium is not in this which is again a very surprising choice but so we have got small next large so you can go here and ask any question i'll make a separate video comparing gpt4 and mixtral mistral large but meanwhile if you want to go chat with this you can just go like simply ask any question like sally has um, two brothers and uh, sally has i don't know sally has one sister uh, how many uh, sisters why did i say the answer i don't know i'm just like making it up maybe this is very well let's just ask the same question that we usually ask right a joke about elon musk and uh, is it going to write a joke about elon musk okay the latency is good like if you see the latency the speed is actually really good so i'm not sure how they are hosting it and uh, the speed is almost like what perplexity does they don't show the number of tokens per second but the speed is actually good maybe when i compare it with gpt4 one of the activities that i could do is like keep a timer and then compare the speed but if there is anything else that you would like me to check what is this why did elon must go to space because he heard there was no one to argue with him about electric cars <laughs> in a long time this is the joke for which i have laughed i don't know what do you feel about it but either way mistral large mistral small are available here three different ways the platform lap platform a microsoft azure ai satya what's your magic and on prem if you want you can contact the mistral team i hope this was useful to you in learning about new model see you in another video happy prompting